Bangalore, officially known as Bengaluru Buyu, listen, is the capital of the Indian state of Karnataka. It has a population of over 10 million, making it a mega city and the third most populous city and fifth most populous urban agglomeration in India. It is located in southern India on the Deccan Plateau at an elevation of over 900 metres 3, feet above sea level, which is the highest among India's major cities. A succession of South Indian dynasties, the Western Gangas, the Cholas, and the Hoysalas, ruled the present region of Bangalore until in 1537 CE, Kampay Gauda, a feudal ruler under the Vijayanagara Empire, established a mud fort considered to be the foundation of modern Bangalore. In 1638, the Marathas conquered and ruled Bangalore for almost 50 years, after which the Mughals captured and sold the city to the Mysore kingdom of the Wadiyar dynasty. It was captured by the British after victory in the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War 1799, who returned administrative control of the city to the Maharaja of Mysore. The old city developed in the dominions of the Maharaja of Mysore and was made capital of the princely state of Mysore, which existed as a nominally sovereign entity of the British Raj. In 1809, the British shifted their cantonment to Bangalore, outside the old city, and a town grew up around it, which was governed as part of British India. Following India's independence in 1947, Bangalore became the capital of Mysore state, and remained capital when the new Indian state of Karnataka was formed in 1956. The two urban settlements of Bangalore, city and cantonment, which had developed as independent entities merged into a single urban centre in 1949. The existing Kannada name, Bengaluru, was declared the official name of the city in 2006. Bangalore is sometimes referred to as the Silicon Valley of India or IT capital of India because of its role as the nation's leading information technology it exporter. Indian technological organizations ISRO, Infosys, Wipro and HAL are headquartered in the city. A demographically diverse city, Bangalore is the second fastest growing major metropolis in India. Bangalore has one of the most highly educated workforces in the world. It is home to many educational and research institutions in India, such as Indian Institute of Science IISC, Indian Institute of Management Bangalore IIMB, International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore IIITB, National Institute of Fashion Technology, Bangalore, National Institute of Design, Bangalore NIDR&D Campus, National Law School of India University NLSIU, and National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences NIMHAN. Numerous state-owned aerospace and defense organizations, such as Bharat Electronics, Hindustan Aeronautics and National Aerospace Laboratories are located in the city. The city also houses the Kannada film industry. Etymology The name, Bangalore, represents an anglicized version of the Kannada language name. Bengaluru. Bengaluru Buru. Listen. It is the name of a village near Kodijhali and was copied by Kempagada to the city of Bangalore. The earliest reference to the name, Bengaluru, was found in a 9th century Western Ganga dynasty stone inscription on a Vira Galu. Voragalu literally, hero stone, a rock edict extolling the virtues of a warrior. In this inscription found in Bagore, Bengaluru is referred to as a place in which a battle was fought in 890 CE. It states that the place was part of the Ganga kingdom until 1004 and was known as Bengaval Uru, the city of guards. In Halaganada, Old Kannada, an apocryphal story recounts that the 12th century Hoysala king Veera Balala II, while on a hunting expedition, lost his way in the forest. Tired and hungry, he came across a poor old woman who served him boiled beans. The grateful king named the place, Benda Kal Uru, literally, town of boiled beans, which eventually evolved into, Bengaluru. Suryanath Kamath has put forward an explanation of a possible floral origin of the name, being derived from Benga, the Kannada term for Pterocarpus marsupium also known as the Indian Kino tree, a species of dry and moist deciduous trees, that grew abundantly in the region. On the 11th of December 2005, the government of Karnataka announced that it had accepted a proposal by Jnanpith Award winner U. R. Ananthamurthy to rename Bangalore to Bengaluru. On 27 September 2006, the Bruhat Bangalore Mahanagara Palike BBMP passed a resolution to implement the proposed name change. 
The government of Karnataka accepted the proposal, and it was decided to officially implement the name change from 1 November 2006. The union government approved this request, along with name changes for 11 other Karnataka cities, in October 2014, hence Bangalore was renamed to Bengaluru on 1 November 2014. History Early and medieval history A discovery of Stone Age artifacts during the 2001 census of India at Jalahalli, Siddhapura and Jadajinahalli, all of which are located on Bangalore's outskirts today, suggest probable human settlement around 4000 BCE. Around 1000 BCE Iron Age, burial grounds were established at Koramangala and Chikahala on the outskirts of Bangalore. Coins of the Roman emperors Augustus, Tiberius, and Claudius found at Yeswanthpur and Hal indicate that Bangalore was involved in trans-oceanic trade with ancient civilizations in 27 BCE The region of modern-day Bangalore was part of several successive South Indian kingdoms. Between the 4th and the 10th centuries, the Bangalore region was ruled by the Western Ganga dynasty of Karnataka, the first dynasty to set up effective control over the region. According to Edgar Thurston there were 28 kings who ruled Gangavadi from the start of the Christian era until its conquest by the Cholas. These kings belonged to two distinct dynasties, the earlier line of the solar race which had a succession of seven kings of the Rati or Reddy tribe, and the later line of the Ganga race. The Western Gangas ruled the region initially as a sovereign power 350 to 550, and later as feudatories of the Shalukas of Badami, followed by the Rashtrakutas until the 10th century. The Bhagore Nageshwara temple was commissioned around 860, during the reign of the Western Ganga king Araganga Nitamarga I and extended by his successor Nitamarga II. Around 1004, during the reign of Raja Raja Chola I, the Cholas defeated the Western Gangas under the command of the Crown Prince Rajendra Chola I, and captured Bangalore. During this period, the Bangalore region witnessed the migration of many groups. Warriors, administrators, traders, artisans, pastorals, cultivators, and religious personnel from Tamil Nadu and other Kannada speaking regions. The Chokanathaswami Temple at Damlar, the Igandapura complex near Hisaragata, Mukthi Nathashwara Temple at Binamangala, Koleshwara Temple at Bhagore, Someshwara Temple at Matawala, date from the Chola era. In 1117, the Hoysala king Vishnuvardhana defeated the Cholas in the Battle of Talakad in South Karnataka, and extended its rule over the region. Vishnuvardhana expelled the Cholas from all parts of Mysore state. By the end of the 13th century, Bangalore became a source of contention between two warring cousins, the Hoysala ruler Veera Balala III of Halebidu and Ramanatha, who administered from the Hoysala held territory in Tamil Nadu. Veera Balala III had appointed a civic head at Huddy now within Bangalore Municipal Corporation limits, thus promoting the village to the status of a town. After Veera Balala III's death in 1343, the next empire to rule the region was the Vijayanagara Empire, which itself saw the rise of four dynasties, the Sangamas -1485, the Saluvas -1491, the Taluvas -1565, and the Aravidu -1646. During the reign of the Vijayanagara Empire, Akuta Deva Raya of the Tuluva dynasty raised the Shivasamudra Dam across the Arkavati River at Hisaragata, whose reservoir is the present city's supply of regular piped water. <laughs> Foundation and early modern history Modern Bangalore was begun in 1537 by a vassal of the Vijayanagara Empire, Kemp Gauda I, who aligned with the Vijayanagara Empire to campaign against Gangaraja whom he defeated and expelled to Kanchi, and who built a mud-brick fort for the people at the site that would become the central part of modern Bangalore. Kemp Gauda was restricted by rules made by Achuta Deva Raya, who feared the potential power of Kemp Gauda and did not allow a formidable stone fort. Kemp Gauda referred to the new town as his. Gandubumi, or Land of Heroes. Within the fort, the town was divided into smaller divisions, each called a Pete. Kannada pronunciation, Pei Te. The town had two main streets: Chikapate Street, which ran east-west, and Dadapete Street, which ran north-south. 
Their intersection formed the Dada Pete Square the heart of Bangalore. Kemp Gowda I's successor, Kemp Gowda II, built four towers that marked Bangalore's boundary. During the Vijayanagara rule, many saints and poets referred to Bangalore as Devarayanagara and Kalyanapura or Kalyanapuri. Auspicious city. After the fall of the Vijayanagara Empire in 1565 in the Battle of Talakota, Bangalore's rule changed hands several times. Kemp Gowda declared independence, then in 1638, a large Adil Shahi Bijapur army led by Ranadullah Khan and accompanied by his second-in-command Shahja Binzlay defeated Kemp Gowda III, and Bangalore was given to Shahja as a Jagar feudal estate. In 1687, the Mughal general Qasim Khan, under orders from Aurangzeb, defeated Ekoji I, son of Shahja, and sold Bangalore to Chikadevaraja Wodyar (1673–1704), the then ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore, for three lakh rupees. After the death of Krishnaraja Wodyar II in 1759, Hyder Ali, commander in chief of the Mysore army, proclaimed himself the de facto ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore. Hyder Ali is credited with building the Delhi and Mysore gates at the northern and southern ends of the city in 1760. The kingdom later passed to Hyder Ali's son Tipu Sultan. Hyder and Tipu contributed towards the beautification of the city by building Lal Bagh Botanical Gardens in 1760. Under them, Bangalore developed into a commercial and military centre of strategic importance. The Bangalore Fort was captured by the British armies under Lord Cornwallis on 21 March 1791 during the Third Anglo Mysore War and formed a centre for British resistance against Tipu Sultan. Following Tipu's death in the Fourth Anglo Mysore War, 1799, the British returned administrative control of the Bangalore. Pete to the Maharaja of Mysore and was incorporated into the princely state of Mysore, which existed as a nominally sovereign entity of the British Raj. The old city, Pete, developed in the dominions of the Maharaja of Mysore. The residency of Mysore state was first established in Mysore city in 1799 and later shifted to Bangalore in 1804. It was abolished in 1843 only to be revived in 1881 at Bangalore and to be closed down permanently in 1947, with Indian independence. The British found Bangalore to be a pleasant and appropriate place to station their garrison and therefore moved their cantonment to Bangalore from Seringapatam in 1809 near Ulsor, about 6 kilometres northeast of the city. A town grew up around the cantonment, by absorbing several villages in the area. The new centre had its own municipal and administrative apparatus, though technically it was a British enclave within the territory of the Wodyar kings of the princely state of Mysore. Two important developments which contributed to the rapid growth of the city, include the introduction of telegraph connections to all major Indian cities in 1853 and a rail connection to Madras, in 1864. Later modern and contemporary history In the 19th century, Bangalore essentially became a twin city, with the Peat, whose residents were predominantly Kanadigas and the cantonment created by the British. Throughout the 19th century, the cantonment gradually expanded and acquired a distinct cultural and political salience as it was governed directly by the British and was known as the civil and military station of Bangalore. While it remained in the princely territory of Mysore, cantonment had a large military presence and a cosmopolitan civilian population that came from outside the princely state of Mysore, including British and Anglo Indians army officers. Bangalore was hit by a plague epidemic in 1898 that claimed nearly 3,500 lives. The crisis caused by the outbreak catalyzed the city's sanitation process. Telephone lines were laid to help co ordinate anti plague operations. Regulations for building new houses with proper sanitation facilities came into effect. A health officer was appointed and the city divided into four wards for better coordination. Victoria Hospital was inaugurated in 1900 by Lord Curzon, the then Governor General of British India. New extensions in Malaswaram and Basavanagudi were developed in the north and south of the Peat. In 1903, motor vehicles came to be introduced in Bangalore. In 1906, Bangalore became one of the first cities in India to have electricity from hydro power, powered by the hydroelectric plant situated in Shivanasamudra. The Indian Institute of Science was established in 1909, which subsequently played a major role in developing the city as a science research hub. 
In 1912, the Bangalore torpedo, a defensive explosive weapon widely used in World War I and World War II, was devised in Bangalore by British Army officer Captain McClintock of the Madras Sappers and Miners. Bangalore's reputation as the Garden City of India began in 1927 with the Silver Jubilee celebrations of the rule of Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. Several projects such as the construction of parks, public buildings and hospitals were instituted to improve the city. Bangalore played an important role during the Indian independence movement. Mahatma Gandhi visited the city in 1927 and 1934 and addressed public meetings here. In 1926, the labor unrest in Bini Mills due to demand by textile workers for payment of bonus resulted in Lathi charging and police firing, resulting in the death of four workers, and several injuries. In July 1928, there were notable communal disturbances in Bangalore, when a Ganesh idol was removed from a school compound in the Sultan Pet area of Bangalore. In 1940, the first flight between Bangalore and Bombay took off, which placed the city on India's urban map. After India's independence in August 1947, Bangalore remained in the newly carved Mysore state, of which the Maharaja of Mysore was the Raja Pramik. The City Improvement Trust was formed in 1945, and in 1949, the City and the Cantonment merged to form the Bangalore City Corporation. The government of Karnataka later constituted the Bangalore Development Authority in 1976 to coordinate the activities of these two bodies. Public sector employment and education provided opportunities for Kanadigas from the rest of the state to migrate to the city. Bangalore experienced rapid growth in the decades 1941–51 and 1971–81, which saw the arrival of many immigrants from northern Karnataka. By 1961, Bangalore had become the sixth largest city in India, with a population of 1,207,000. In the decades that followed, Bangalore's manufacturing base continued to expand with the establishment of private companies such as Myco Motor Industries Company, which set up its manufacturing plant in the city. By the 1980s, it was clear that urbanization had spilled over the current boundaries, and in 1986, the Bangalore Metropolitan Region Development Authority, was established to co-ordinate the development of the entire region as a single unit. On 8 February 1981, a major fire broke out at Venus Circus in Bangalore, where more than 92 lives were lost, the majority of them being children. Bangalore experienced a growth in its real estate market in the 1980s and 1990s, spurred by capital investors from other parts of the country who converted Bangalore's large plots and colonial bungalows into multi-story departments. In 1985, Texas Instruments became the first multinational corporation to set up base in Bangalore. Other information technology companies followed suit and by the end of the 20th century, Bangalore had established itself as the Silicon Valley of India. Today, Bangalore is India's third most populous city. During the 21st century, Bangalore has suffered terrorist attacks in 2008, 2010, and 2013. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Bangalore lies in the southeast of the South Indian state of Karnataka. It is in the heart of the Mysore Plateau, a region of the larger Precambrian Deccan Plateau, at an average elevation of 900 meters (2,953 feet). It is located at 12.97 degrees north, 77.56 degrees east, 12.97, 77.56, and covers an area of 741 square kilometers (286 square miles). The majority of the city of Bangalore lies in the Bangalore Urban District of Karnataka and the surrounding rural areas are a part of the Bangalore Rural District. The government of Karnataka has carved out the new district of Ramanagara from the old Bangalore Rural District. The topology of Bangalore is generally flat, though the western parts of the city are hilly. The highest point is Vidyaranyapura Dadabedahali, which is 962 metres 3,156 feet and is situated to the northwest of the city. No major rivers run through the city, although the Arkavathi and South Pennar cross paths at the Nandi Hills, 60 kilometers (37 miles) to the north. River Vrishabhavathi, a minor tributary of the Arkavathi, arises within the city at Basavanagudi and flows through the city. The rivers Arkavathi and Vrishabhavathi together carry much of Bangalore's sewage. 
A sewerage system, constructed in 1922, covers 215 square kilometers (83 square miles) of the city and connects with five sewage treatment centers located in the periphery of Bangalore. In the 16th century, Kemp Gowda I constructed many lakes to meet the town's water requirements. The Kempambudi Kir, since overrun by modern development, was prominent among those lakes. In the earlier half of 20th century, the Nandi Hills Waterworks was commissioned by Sir Mirza Ismail Dewan of Mysore, 1926-41 CE to provide a water supply to the city. Currently, the River Kaveri provides around 80% of the total water supply to the city with the remaining 20% being obtained from the Thipagandanahalli and Hisaragata reservoirs of the Arkavathi River. Bangalore receives 800 million litres 211 million US gallons of water a day, more than any other Indian city. However, Bangalore sometimes does face water shortages, especially during summer more so in the years of low rainfall. A random sampling study of the Air Quality Index of 20 stations within the city indicated scores that ranged from 76 to 314, suggesting heavy to severe air pollution around areas of traffic concentration. Bangalore has a handful of freshwater lakes and water tanks, the largest of which are Madhavala Tank, Hebel Lake, Ulsor Lake, Yedir Lake, and Sankey Tank. Groundwater occurs in silty to sandy layers of the alluvial sediments. The Peninsular Nysic Complex PGC is the most dominant rock unit in the area and includes granites, gneisses and migmatites, while the soils of Bangalore consist of red laterite and red, fine loamy to clayey soils. Vegetation in the city is primarily in the form of large deciduous canopy and minority coconut trees. Though Bangalore has been classified as a part of the seismic zone 2 a stable zone, it has experienced quakes of magnitude as high as 4.5. Topic. Climate Bangalore has a tropical savanna climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. Due to its high elevation, Bangalore usually enjoys a more moderate climate throughout the year, although occasional heat waves can make summer somewhat uncomfortable. The coolest month is January with an average low temperature of 15.1 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit and the hottest month is April with an average high temperature of 35 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The highest temperature ever recorded in Bangalore is 39.2 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit recorded on 24 April 2016 as there was a strong El Niño in 2016 there were also unofficial records of 41 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit on that day. The lowest ever recorded is 7.8 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in January 1884. Winter temperatures rarely drop below 14 degrees Celsius 57 degrees Fahrenheit, and summer temperatures seldom exceed 36 degrees Celsius 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Bangalore receives rainfall from both the northeast and the southwest monsoons and the wettest months are September, October and August, in that order. The summer heat is moderated by fairly frequent thunderstorms, which occasionally cause power outages and local flooding. Most of the rainfall occurs during late afternoon, evening or night and rain before noon is infrequent. November 2015 290.4 mm was recorded as one of the wettest months in Bangalore with heavy rains causing severe flooding in some areas, and closure of a number of organizations for over a couple of days. The heaviest rainfall recorded in a 24-hour period is 179 mm 7 in recorded on 1 October 1997. Demographics With a population estimated to be between 10,456,000 and 12,339,000 Up from 8.5 million at the 2011 census, Bangalore is a megacity, and the third most populous city in India and the 18th most populous city in the world. Bangalore was the fastest growing Indian metropolis after New Delhi between 1991 and 2001, with a growth rate of 38% during the decade. Residents of Bangalore are referred to as Bangalorians in English and Bengalorinaveru or Bengaloragaru in Kannada. People from other states have migrated to Bangalore. According to the 2011 Census of India, 78.9% of Bangalore's population is Hindu, a little less than the national average. 
Muslims comprise 13.9% of the population, roughly the same as their national average. Christians and Jains account for 5.6% and 1.0% of the population, respectively, double that of their national averages. The city has a literacy rate of 89%. Roughly 10% of Bangalore's population lives in slums. A relatively low proportion when compared to other cities in the developing world such as Mumbai 50% and Nairobi 60%. The 2008 National Crime Records Bureau statistics indicate that Bangalore accounts for 8.5% of the total crimes reported from 35 major cities in India, which is an increase in the crime rate when compared to the number of crimes 15 years ago. Bangalore suffers from the same major urbanization problems seen in many fast growing cities in developing countries rapidly escalating social inequality, mass displacement and dispossession, proliferation of slum settlements, an epidemic public health crisis due to severe water shortage and sewage problems in poor and working class neighborhoods Bangalore is a multilingual city The official language in Bangalore is Kannada Other languages such as English Telugu Tamil Hindi Malayalam Urdu are also spoken widely The Kannada language spoken in Bangalore is a form of Kannada called as Old Mysuru Kannada which is also used in most of the southern part of Karnataka state a vernacular dialect of this, known as Bangalore Kannada, is spoken among the youth in Bangalore and the adjoining Mysore regions. English as an Indian dialect is extensively spoken and is the principal language of the professional and business class. The major communities of Bangalore who share a long history in the city other than the Kanadigas are the Telugus and Tamilians, who migrated to Bangalore in search of a better livelihood. Already in the 16th century, Bangalore had few speakers of Tamil and Telugu, who spoke Kannada to carry out low-profile jobs. However the Telugu-speaking Morasu Vakaligas are the native people of Bangalore Telugu-speaking people initially came to Bangalore on invitation by the Mysore royalty a few of them have lineage dating back to Krishnadevaraya. Other native communities are the Taluvas and the Konkanis of coastal Karnataka, the Kodavas of the Kodagu district of Karnataka. The migrant communities are Maharashtrians, Punjabis, Rajasthanis, Gujaratis, Tamilians, Telugus, Malayali, Odias, Sindhis, and Bengalis. Bangalore once had a large Anglo-Indian population, the second largest after Calcutta. Today, there are around 10,000 Anglo-Indians in Bangalore. Christians form a sizable section of Bangalorean society, with migrant forming the majority of the Christian population, while Kannada Catholics, Mangalorean Catholics, Syro Malabar Nasranis, and others form the rest of the population. Muslims form a very diverse population, consisting of Dahini and Urdu speaking Muslims, Kuchi Memons, Labay, and Mapillas. Languages <laughs> 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 According to 2011 census following is the distribution of Bangalore district people as per their mother tongue. Kannada 45.47%, Tamil 14.2%, Telugu 13.99%, Urdu 12.11%, Hindi 5.51%, Malayalam 2.94%, Marathi 1.92%, Konkani 0.67%, Bengali 0.64%, Oriya 0.52%, Tulu 0.49%, Gujarati 0.47%. Civic administration The Bruhat Bangalore Mahanagara Palike BBMP, Greater Bangalore Municipal Corporation is in charge of the civic administration of the city. It was formed in 2007 by merging 100 wards of the erstwhile Bangalore Mahanagara Palike, with seven neighbouring city municipal councils, one town municipal council and 110 villages around Bangalore. The number of wards increased to 198 in 2009. The BBMP is run by a city council composed of 250 members, including 198 corporators representing each of the wards of the city and 52 other elected representatives, consisting of members of parliament and the state legislature. Elections to the council are held once every five years, with results being decided by popular vote. Members contesting elections to the council usually represent one or more of the state's political parties. A mayor and deputy mayor are also elected from among the elected members of the council. 
Elections to the BBMP were held on 28 March 2010, after a gap of three and a half years since the expiry of the previous elected body's term, and the Bharatiya Janata Party was voted into power, the first time it had ever won a civic poll in the city. Indian National Congress councillor Sampath Raj became the city's mayor in September 2017, the vote having been boycotted by the BJP. In September 2018, Indian National Congress councillor Gangambike Malakarjan was elected as the mayor of Bengaluru and took charge from the outgoing mayor, Sampath Raj. Bangalore's rapid growth has created several problems relating to traffic congestion and infrastructural obsolescence that the Bangalore Mahanagara Palike has found challenging to address. The unplanned nature of growth in the city resulted in massive traffic gridlocks that the municipality attempted to ease by constructing a flyover system and by imposing one-way traffic systems. Some of the flyovers and one-ways mitigated the traffic situation moderately but were unable to adequately address the disproportionate growth of city traffic. A 2003 Battelle Environmental Evaluation System Bees evaluation of Bangalore's physical, biological and socio-economic parameters indicated that Bangalore's water quality and terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems were close to ideal, while the city's socio-economic parameters traffic, quality of life, air quality and noise pollution scored poorly. The BBMP works in conjunction with the Bangalore Development Authority BDA and the Agenda for Bangalore's Infrastructure and Development Task Force Abide to design and implement civic and infrastructural projects. The Bangalore City Police BCP has 7 geographic zones, includes the Traffic Police, the City Armed Reserve, the Central Crime Branch and the City Crime Record Bureau and runs 86 police stations including two all-women police stations. As capital of the state of Karnataka, Bangalore houses important state government facilities such as the Karnataka High Court, the Vedana Suda, the home of the Karnataka State Legislature, and Raj Bhavan, the residence of the Governor of Karnataka. Bangalore contributes four members to the lower house of the Indian Parliament, the Lok Sabha, from its four constituencies, Bangalore Rural, Bangalore Central, Bangalore North, and Bangalore South, and 28 members to the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Electricity in Bangalore is regulated through the Bangalore Electricity Supply Company Bescom, while water supply and sanitation facilities are provided by the Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board BWSSB. The city has offices of the Consulate General of Germany, France, Japan Israel, British Deputy High Commission, along with honorary consulates of Ireland, Finland, Switzerland, Maldives, Mongolia, Sri Lanka and Peru. It also has a trade office of Canada and a virtual consulate of the United States. <laughs> Pollution control Bangalore generates about 3,000 tons of solid waste per day, of which about 1,139 tons are collected and sent to composting units such as the Karnataka Composting Development Corporation. The remaining solid waste collected by the municipality is dumped in open spaces or on roadsides outside the city. In 2008, Bangalore produced around 2,500 metric tons of solid waste, and increased to 5,000 metric tons in 2012, which is transported from collection units located near Hisaragata Lake, to the garbage dumping sites. The city suffers significantly with dust pollution, hazardous waste disposal, and disorganized, unscientific waste retrievals. The IT hub, Whitefield region is the most polluted area in Bangalore. Recently a study found that over 36% of diesel vehicles in the city exceed the national limit for emissions. <inaudible> <inaudible> slums According to a 2012 report submitted to the World Bank by Karnataka Slum Clearance Board, Bangalore had 862 slums from total of around 2,000 slums in Karnataka. The families living in the slum were not ready to move into the temporary shelters. 42% of the households migrated from different parts of India like Chennai, Hyderabad and most of North India, and 43% of the households had remained in the slums for over 10 years. The Karnataka municipality, works to shift 300 families annually to newly constructed buildings. One third of these slum clearance projects lacked basic service connections, 60% of slum dwellers lacked complete water supply lines and shared BWSSB water supply. <laughs> Waste management 
IOTA N 2012 Bangalore generated 2.1 million tons of municipal solid waste 195.4 kilograms cap per year The waste management scenario in the state of Karnataka is regulated by the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board KSPCB under the aegis of the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB which is a central government entity as part of their waste management guidelines the Government of Karnataka through the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board KSPCB has authorized a few well-established companies to manage the biomedical waste and hazardous waste in the state of Karnataka. Economy <inaudible> 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 Recent estimates of the economy of Bangalore's metropolitan area have ranged from $45 to $83 billion PPP GDP, and have ranked it either fourth or fifth most productive metro area of India. The value of cities' exports totaling Rs 432 billion rupees in 2004-05. With an economic growth of 10.3%, Bangalore is the second fastest growing major metropolis in India, and is also the country's fourth largest fast moving consumer goods FMCG market. Forbes considers Bangalore one of the next decade's fastest growing cities. The city is the third largest hub for high net worth individuals and is home to over $10,000 millionaires and about 60,000 super rich people who have an investment surplus of 45 million rupees $626,157 and 5 million rupees $69,600 respectively. The headquarters of several public sector undertakings such as Bharat Electronics Limited, Bell, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, National Aerospace Laboratories NAL, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited BHEL, Bharat Earth Movers Limited BEML, Central Manufacturing Technology Institute CMTI and HMT, formerly Hindustan Machine Tools, are located in Bangalore. In June 1972, the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO was established under the Department of Space and headquartered in the city. Bangalore also houses several research and development centers for many firms such as AB, Airbus, Bosch, Boeing, GE, GM, Google, Liebherr Aerospace, Microsoft, Mercedes-Benz, Nokia, Oracle, Philips, Shell, Toyota and Tyco. Bangalore is called as the Silicon Valley of India because of the large number of information technology companies located in the city which contributed 33% of India's 1,442 billion rupees $20 billion IT exports in 2006-07. Bangalore's IT industry is divided into three main clusters, Software Technology Parks of India STPI, International Tech Park, Bangalore ITPB, and Electronic City. UB City, the headquarters of the United Breweries Group, is a high-end commercial zone. Infosys and Wipro, India's third and fourth largest software companies are headquartered in Bangalore, as are many of the global SEI CMM Level 5 companies. The growth of IT has presented the city with unique challenges. Ideological clashes sometimes occur between the city's IT moguls, who demand an improvement in the city's infrastructure, and the state government, whose electoral base is primarily the people in rural Karnataka. The encouragement of high-tech industry in Bangalore, for example, has not favoured local employment development, but has instead increased land values and forced out small enterprise. The state has also resisted the massive investments required to reverse the rapid decline in city transport which has already begun to drive new and expanding businesses to other centres across India. Bangalore is a hub for biotechnology-related industry in India and in the year 2005, around 47% of the 265 biotechnology companies in India were located here, including Biocon, India's largest biotechnology company. Transport <inaudible> Air Bangalore is served by Kempagata International Airport IATA, BLR, ICAO, VOBL, located at Devanahalli, about 40 kilometres from the city centre. It was formerly called Bangalore International Airport. The airport started operations from 24 May 2008 and is a private airport managed by a consortium led by the GVK Group. 
The city was earlier served by the HAL Airport at Vimanapura, a residential locality in the eastern part of the city. The airport is third busiest in India after Delhi and Mumbai in terms of passenger traffic and the number of air traffic movements ATMs. Taxis and air-conditioned Volvo buses operated by BMTC connect the airport with the city. Rail <inaudible> 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 A rapid transit system called the Nama Metro is being built in stages. Initially opened with the 7 km miles stretch from Bayapanahali to MG Road in 2011, Phase 1 covering a distance of 42.30 km miles for the north-south and east-west lines was made operational by June 2017. Phase 2 of the metro covering 72.1 km .8 miles is under construction and includes two new lines along with the extension of the existing north-south and east-west lines. There are also plans to extend the north-south line to the airport, covering a distance of 29.6 km .4 miles. It is expected to be operational by 2021. Bangalore is a divisional headquarters in the south-western railway zone of the Indian Railways. There are four major railway stations in the city, Krantavira Sangoli Rayana Railway Station, Bangalore Cantonment Railway Station, Yeshwantapur Junction and Krishnarajapuram Railway Station, with railway lines towards Jolar Petai in the east, Chikbalapur in the northeast, Guntakal in the north, Tumkur in the northwest, Hassan in the west, Mysore in the southwest and Salem in the south. There is also a railway line from Bayapanahali to Vimanapura which is no more in use. Though Bangalore has no commuter rail at present, there have been demands for a suburban rail service keeping in mind the large number of employees working in the IT corridor areas of Whitefield, Outer Ring Road and Electronic City. The Rail Wheel Factory is Asia's second largest manufacturer of wheel and axle for railways and is headquartered in Yulahanka, Bangalore. Road. Buses operated by Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation BMTC are an important and reliable means of public transport available in the city. While commuters can buy tickets on boarding these buses, BMTC also provides an option of a bus pass to frequent users. BMTC runs air-conditioned luxury buses on major routes, and also operates shuttle services from various parts of the city to Kempagada International Airport. The BMTC also has a mobile app that provides real-time location of a bus using the global positioning system of the user's mobile device. The Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation operates 6,918 buses on 6,352 schedules, connecting Bangalore with other parts of Karnataka as well as other neighboring states. The main bus depots that KSRTC maintains are the Kempagada Bus Station, locally known as Majestic Bus Stand where most of the outstation buses ply from. Some of the KSRTC buses to Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh ply from Shantinagar Bus Station, Satellite Bus Station at Mysore Road and Bayapanahali Satellite Bus Station. BMTC and KSRTC were the first operators in India to introduce Volvo City buses and intracity coaches in India. Three-wheeled, yellow and black or yellow and green auto rickshaws, referred to as autos, are a popular form of transport. They are metered and can accommodate up to three passengers. Taxis, commonly called city taxis, are usually available too, but they are only available on call or by online-based services. Taxis are metered and are generally more expensive than auto rickshaws. There are currently 1,250 vehicles being registered daily on an average in Bangalore RTOs. The total number of vehicles as on date are 44 lakh vehicles, with a road length of 11,000 km miles. Culture Bangalore is known as the ''Garden City of India'' because of its greenery, broad streets and the presence of many public parks, such as Lal Bagh and Cubbon Park. Bangalore is sometimes called as the ''Pub Capital of India'' and the ''Rock, Metal Capital of India'' because of its underground music scene and it is one of the premier places to hold international rock concerts. 
In May 2012, Lonely Planet ranked Bangalore third among the world's top ten cities to visit. Bangalore is also home to many vegan friendly restaurants and vegan activism groups, and has been named as India's most vegan friendly city by PETA India. Biannual flower shows are held at the Lal Bagh Gardens during the week of Republic Day the 26th of January and Independence Day the 15th of August. Bangalore Karaga or Karaga Shaktatsava is one of the most important and oldest festivals of Bangalore dedicated to the Hindu goddess Draupadi. It is celebrated annually by the Thigala community, over a period of nine days in the month of March or April. The Someshwara Kar Festival is an annual procession of the idol of the Halasuru Someshwara Temple led by the Vakaligas, a major land-holding community in the southern Karnataka, occurring in April. Karnataka Rayatsava is widely celebrated on 1 November and is a public holiday in the city, to mark the formation of Karnataka state on 1 November 1956. Other popular festivals in Bangalore are Ugadi, Ram Navami, Eid ul Fitr, Ganesh Chaturthi, St. Mary's Feast, Dussehra, Deepawali, and Christmas. The diversity of cuisine is reflective of the social and economic diversity of Bangalore. Bangalore has a wide and varied mix of restaurant types and cuisines and Bangaloreans deem eating out as an intrinsic part of their culture. Roadside vendors, tea stalls, and South Indian, North Indian, Chinese and Western fast food are all very popular in the city. Udupi restaurants are very popular and serve predominantly vegetarian, regional cuisine. Art and literature Bangalore did not have an effective contemporary art representation, as compared to Delhi and Mumbai, until recently during the 1990s, several art galleries sprang up, notable being the government-established National Gallery of Modern Art. Bangalore's international art festival, Art Bangalore, was established in 2010. Kannada literature appears to have flourished in Bangalore even before Kemp Gowda laid the foundations of the city. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Kannada literature was enriched by the vachanas a form of rhythmic writing composed by the heads of the Virashaiva Mathas monastery in Bangalore. As a cosmopolitan city, Bangalore has also encouraged the growth of Telugu, Urdu, and English literatures. The headquarters of the Kannada Sahitya Parishat, a non-profit organization that promotes the Kannada language, is located in Bangalore. The city has its own literary festival, known as the Bangalore Literature Festival", which was inaugurated in 2012. <inaudible> <inaudible> Indian Cartoon Gallery The Cartoon Gallery is located in the heart of Bangalore, dedicated to the art of cartooning, is the first of its kind in India. Every month the gallery is conducting fresh cartoon exhibition of various professional as well as amateur cartoonists. The gallery has been organized by the Indian Institute of Cartoonists based in Bangalore that serves to promote and preserve the work of eminent cartoonists in India. The institute has organized more than 100 exhibitions of cartoons. Topic: <laughs> Theater, Music and Dance. Bangalore is home to the Kannada film industry, which churns out about 80 Kannada movies each year. Bangalore also has a very active and vibrant theatre culture with popular theatres being Ravindra Kalakshetra and the more recently opened Ranga Shankara the city has a vibrant English and foreign language theatre scene with places like Ranga Shankara and Chaudhaya Memorial Hall leading the way in hosting performances leading to the establishment of the amateur film industry. Kannada theatre is very popular in Bangalore, and consists mostly of political satire and light comedy. Plays are organized mostly by community organizations, but there are some amateur groups which stage plays in Kannada. Drama companies touring India under the auspices of the British Council and Max Muller Bhavan also stage performances in the city frequently. The Alliance Francaise de Bangalore also hosts numerous plays through the year. Bangalore is also a major centre of Indian classical music and dance. The cultural scene is very diverse due to Bangalore's mixed ethnic groups, which is reflected in its music concerts, dance performances and plays. Performances of Carnatic South Indian and Hindustani North Indian classical music, and dance forms like Bharat Natyam, Kuchipudi, Kathakali, Kathak, and Odissi are very popular. Yakshagana, a theatre art indigenous to coastal Karnataka is often played in town halls. 
The two main music seasons in Bangalore are in April to May during the Ram Navami festival, and in September to October during the Dushara festival, when music activities by cultural organizations are at their peak. Though both classical and contemporary music are played in Bangalore, the dominant music genre in urban Bangalore is rock music. Bangalore has its own subgenre of music, Bangalore Rock, which is an amalgamation of classic rock, hard rock, and heavy metal, with a bit of jazz and blues in it. Notable bands from Bangalore include Rugu Dixit Project, Kryptos, Inner Sanctum, Agam, All the Fat Children, and Swaritma. The city hosted the Miss World 1996 beauty pageant. Education Schools Until the early 19th century, education in Bangalore was mainly run by religious leaders and restricted to students of that religion. The Western system of education was introduced during the rule of Mamadi Krishnaraja Wodyar. Subsequently, the British Wesleyan Mission established the first English school in 1832 known as Wesleyan Cannery School. The Fathers of the Paris Foreign Missions established the St. Joseph's European School in 1858. The Bangalore High School was started by the Mysore government in 1858 and the Bishop Cotton Boys School was started in 1865. In 1945 when World War II came to an end, King George Royal Indian Military Colleges was started at Bangalore by King George VI. The school is popularly known as Bangalore Military School in post-independent India. Schools for young children 16 months to 5 years are called nursery, kindergarten or play school which are broadly based on Montessori or multiple intelligence methodology of education. Primary and secondary education in Bangalore is offered by various schools which are affiliated to one of the boards of education, such as the Secondary School Leaving Certificate SSLC, Indian Certificate of Secondary Education ICSE, Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, International Baccalaureate IB, International General Certificate of Secondary Education IGCSE, and National Institute of Open Schooling NIOS. Schools in Bangalore are either government-run or are private both aided and unaided by the government. Bangalore has a significant number of international schools due to expats and IT crowd. After completing their secondary education, students either attend pre-university or continue high school in one of three streams, arts, commerce or science. Alternatively, students may also enroll in diploma courses. Upon completing the required coursework, students enroll in general or professional degrees in universities through lateral entry. Below are some of the historical schools in Bangalore and their year of establishment. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Universities. Bangalore University, established in 1886, provides affiliation to over 500 colleges, with a total student enrollment exceeding 300,000. The university has two campuses within Bangalore, Jnanabharathi and Central College. University Visvesvaraya College of Engineering was established in the year 1917, by Sir M. Visvesvaraya. At present, the UVCE is the only engineering college under the Bangalore University. Bangalore also has many private engineering colleges affiliated to Visvesvaraya Technological University. Some of the institutes in Bangalore are International Centre for Theoretical Sciences Indian Institute of Astrophysics Indian Institute of Science, which was established in 1909 in Bangalore Jawaharlal Nehru Centre for Advanced Scientific Research National Center for Biological Sciences NCBS National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences NIMHANS Raman Research Institute and some of the professional institutes located in Bangalore are Indian Institute of Management Bangalore IIMB Indian Statistical Institute Institute of Finance and International Management IFIM Institute of Wood Science and Technology International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore IIITB, and National Institute of Design NID, National Institute of Fashion Technology NIFT, National Law School of India University NLSIU, 
CMR University School of Legal Studies MS Ramaya Institute of Management, Bangalore MS Ramaya Institute of Technology, Bangalore University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore UASB. .Some private and deemed universities in Bangalore include institutes like CMR University, Christ University, Jain University, PES University and MS Ramaya University of Applied Sciences. Bangalore Medical Colleges include St. John's Medical College and Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute the MP Birla Institute of Fundamental Research has a branch located in Bangalore. Topic: <inaudible> Media. The first printing press in Bangalore was established in 1840 in Kannada by the Wesleyan Christian Mission. In 1859, Bangalore Herald became the first English bi-weekly newspaper to be published in Bangalore and in 1860, Mysore Vratanta Bodini became the first Kannada newspaper to be circulated in Bangalore. Currently, Vijaya Karnataka and The Times of India are the most widely circulated Kannada and English newspapers in Bangalore respectively, closely followed by the Prajavani and Deccan Herald both owned by the printers Mysore Limited, the largest print media house in Karnataka. Other circulated newspapers are Vijayvani, Visvavani, Canada Prabha, Sanjavani, Bangalore Mirror, Udayavani provide localized news updates. On the web, Explosity provides listings information in Bangalore. Bangalore got its first radio station when All India Radio, the official broadcaster for the Indian government, started broadcasting from its Bangalore station on 2 November 1955. The radio transmission was AM, until in 2001, Radio City became the first private channel in India to start transmitting FM radio from Bangalore. In recent years, a number of FM channels have started broadcasting from Bangalore. The city probably has India's oldest amateur ham radio club, Bangalore Amateur Radio Club VU2ARC, which was established in 1959. Bangalore got its first look at television when Doordarshan established a relay centre here and started relaying programmes from 1 November 1981. A production centre was established in the Doordarshan's Bangalore office in 1983, thereby allowing the introduction of a news programme in Kannada on 19 November 1983. Doordarshan also launched a Kannada satellite channel on 15 August 1991 which is now named DD Chandana. The advent of private satellite channels in Bangalore started in September 1991 when Star TV started to broadcast its channels. Though the number of satellite TV channels available for viewing in Bangalore has grown over the years, the cable operators play a major role in the availability of these channels, which has led to occasional conflicts. Direct to Home DTH services are also available in Bangalore now. The first internet service provider in Bangalore was STPI, Bangalore, which started offering internet services in early 1990s. This internet service was, however, restricted to corporates until VSNL started offering dial up internet services to the general public at the end of 1995. Currently, Bangalore has the largest number of broadband internet connections in India. Nama Wi Fi is a free municipal wireless network in Bangalore, the first free Wi Fi in India. It began operation on 24 January 2014. Service is available at MG Road, Brigade Road, and other locations. The service is operated by D Voice and is paid for by the state government. Bangalore was the first city in India to have the fourth generation network 4G for mobile. Sports Cricket and football are by far the most popular sports in the city. Bangalore has many parks and gardens that provide excellent pitches for impromptu games. A significant number of national cricketers have come from Bangalore, including former captains Rahul Dravid and Anil Kumble. Some of the other notable players from the city who have represented India include Gundapa Viswanat, Syed Kermani, EAS Prasanna, BS Chandrasekhar, Roger Bini, Venkatesh Prasad, Sunil Joshi, Robin Uthappa, Vinay Kumar, K. L. Rahul, Karun Nair, Brijesh Patel and Stuart Bini. Bangalore's international cricket stadium is the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium, which has a seating capacity of 55,000 and has hosted matches during the 1987 Cricket World Cup, 1996 Cricket World Cup and the 2011 Cricket World Cup. 
The Chinnaswamy Stadium is the home of India's National Cricket Academy, the Indian Premier League franchise Royal Challengers Bangalore and the Indian Super League club Bengaluru FC are based in the city. The city hosted some games of the 2014 Unity World Cup. The city hosts the Women's Tennis Association WTA Bangalore Open Tournament annually. Beginning September 2008, Bangalore has also been hosting the Kingfisher Airlines Tennis Open ATP Tournament annually. The city is home to the Bangalore Rugby Football Club BRFC. Bangalore has a number of elite clubs, like Century Club, the Bangalore Golf Club, the Boring Institute and the exclusive Bangalore Club, which counts among its previous members Winston Churchill and the Maharaja of Mysore. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited SC is based in Bangalore. India's Davis Cup team members, Mahesh Bhupati and Rohan Bopana reside in Bangalore. Other sports personalities from Bangalore include national swimming champion Nisha Millet, world snooker champion Pankaj Advani, and former All England Open badminton champion Prakash Padukone. Bangalore is home to Bengaluru Beast, 2017 vice champion of India's top professional basketball division, the UBA Pro Basketball League. The city has hosted some games of the 2014 Unity World Cup. Sister cities Minsk, Belarus Cleveland, Ohio, United States San Francisco, California, United States Chengdu, Sichuan, China See also List of people from Bangalore List of neighborhoods in Bangalore List of tallest buildings in Bangalore List of tourist attractions in Bangalore List of Chola temples in Bangalore Talix of Bangalore